Hey guys, so Tesla has just released the ability to turn off traction and stability control for your Model 3 using dyno mode. So we're going to show you how to activate that. We're going to show you a red performance Model 3 on the dyno. We're going to show you a red performance Model 3 sliding around here. And we're also going to do a back-to-back -back comparison of Jesse's white Model 3 here, both with the dyno mode and everything off, and also with our party box, which controls slip and gives you a little bit of easier kind of drift mode. Okay, so you want to activate dyno mode on your Tesla? Here's how you do it. You hold the left turn stock down while holding it the entire time. Hold the T. You'll see the screen bubble. Let go. And while you're still holding the left turn stock, type in Dyno Test. Press OK. Now you can see that the car has turned off all of the stability control and gone into dyno mode, which basically means there is zero traction control. Okay, so this is our party box, the beta version of it, and this is what's in the car that uh, we're about to use right now. Alright, so to activate our party box, you press the slip start button, and if you've got one of our Motec C125 dashes, you'll see it activate some pretty lights, and it'll even tell you what uh, wheel speed slip it's going to allow. So one of the things about why we made our party box was because with no traction control in an electric car, you get like crazy s spin up and um, it's hard to control the car, especially with an open differential. So we're going to do like a little example here of dyno mode with basically no controls and then our party box, which still has the e-diff, which works sort of like a limited slip and it also controls slip to 30%. So we'll kind of just spin around here and see how easy it is to control in each way and you can watch the video and try and decide if we're being unbiased or not and we'll, we'll do our best to be to be fair here. So here we go, this is dyno mode. So when I first floor it, you can see it's just roasting the, the wheels kind of out of control. So there's all inside tire spin and then it just shoots to the outside eventually and you get that the big shock load of power that goes across. So again, and here I can't control it, and it's it's almost spinning out because there's there's a, right when it starts going, the only indication that I've got anything here is the the sound of these tires shrilling on the ice. So if I do it again here, you kind of just got to give it a shot of the pedal, and then lift off, and then hit it again once you feel the cars uh, the wheels have slowed back down enough because you can't really pedal it because you just don't have that deceleration that you do with a gas engine. When you lift on a gas engine, it, it slows down right away. But when you lift an electric motor, there isn't all that friction to slow it down, so it's harder to control. Oh, there it spun out. So you can hear it spinning the inside. And then it, and it's, but it won't slide this way, and then it finally goes, and it, it's, um, well, it's typical open differential problems, uh, and it's just in general, you need to have a little bit more experience to be able to manage it. So let's try it now with the party box. So 
So now we go into driving, hit slip start, and with our party box installed, it automatically faults the system and now starts using our traction control logic. Okay, so now the party box is on and it's going to control the slip that we're, we're going to be allowed to get. So even though I'm flooring it here, it's kind of just maintaining. And that was flooring it the entire time. So here I'm flooring it and I'm, you know, you can see even though it's on ice, it's just, I'm flooring it the entire time and it's just kind of controlling and keeping that, that same angle. I'll try that again so I don't go on the ice there. So now I'm going to floor it and you can hear the tires spin up but slow down and basically what's happening now is it's allowing a certain amount of slip and that's it. And this surface is actually really bad because we're on, it's ice and gravel so it's going from gravel to ice. Um, so you can imagine how much better it is when you're on a consistent surface. But here's my foot on the ground the entire time and I'm basically just letting the car spin around. So that's it. You can see why having some control is, is desirable. We figured that tire was going about 220 kilometers an hour. The diff was making crazy rumbling sounds and I think that tire hardly spun at all. Um, so yeah, have some fun with this stuff, but don't be stupid. There's nothing like a normal car has gears that's gonna limit you from how fast you can spin the tires. Um, and with an open diff, you can spin one side way faster than the other, which uh, is a great way to, to damage your differential. So um, yeah, this is kind of why we developed the party box so that you can be on the track be full throttle and have the, the car kind of control what's happening and not let you get out of shape. Um, but at the same time for all-wheel drive cars, you know, this is a good good fix for guys that just want to turn off stability control. Or if you've got racing slicks and traction's not a big deal, you know, this is a good fix for that too. So enjoy it. Don't do anything stupid. And if you do, don't blame us.